Good morning, St. Mary's. I'm Dana. And I'm Kaya. And here's today's menu in the Shea Cafe. We've got the Stone Earth Oven, Pizza Lovers Pepperoni or Buffalo Free Range Chicken, the Earthly Selections Pizza Lovers Four Cheese Pizza, the Farmer's Market Waldorf Free Range Chicken Salad, and the Sandwich Special Free Range Turkey BLT or Black Forest Ham. And in student life, coming up at the end of today's show is our final generational trivia of the term. So get ready to battle and see which homeroom can come out on top. Let's look at the current standings. So we currently have Miss McManus in first place with a total of five points, Mr. Kelly in second with a total of four points, Mr. Rogers in also second with four points, and then Miss Harkness and Mr. Riccardi are tied for three points, and Miss Payne has two points. And I've been told that everyone in the top six spots has a chance to win today. So good luck, guys. And in case you missed it yesterday, be sure to see your SM Panthers email for the latest for from form from the latest from Panther Press. <laughs> sure, Valentine's Day is over, but the love goes on. And live well, be well, Panthers. Healthy advice from the St. Mary's Wellness Program. Let there be morning light. Dr. Andrew Huberman, neuroscientist and professor at Stanford University Medical School, has done lengthy research on our circadian rhythms, which help determine our energy during the day and our transition to sound sleep at night. He found that our cells perceive time by sunrise and sunset. In the morning, cells in the irises of our eyes are activated by natural sunlight and set off a 16-hour timer and the release of cortisol for daytime energy. Being outside in the early morning, sunny or cloudy, is best, but sunlight through a window works too. Don't ever look directly at the sun. Melatonin is slowly released during the day, making you tired and sleepy in the evening. Light at night from any screen and bright artificial lighting suppresses both melatonin and dopamine levels, which affect your moods. So follow the sun, Panthers. Seek outside light during the day and avoid bright light from any source later in the evening for restful, deep sleep. And don't miss the winter music concert this Thursday at 7 p.m., featuring performances by the Introduction to Band, Intermediate Band, Modern Band, and Advanced Jazz Ensemble. Due to COVID restrictions, limited seating for the live performance is via ticket only, so please check out the concert live streamed on the St. Mary's YouTube channel. And in club news, NHS for Dance Arts and Dance Team is meeting today at A Block in the auditorium. And save a date, this Thursday brown bag lunch discussion growing up LGBTQ in America will take place after C Block. And now here's Sophia with your Panther Athletics. Hey, hey, hey Panthers, we have a busy afternoon in action today. First off, the men's tennis team kicks off their season today, traveling over to Marin Academy. They have a 2 p.m. early dismissal. And next, also in Marin County, the boys soccer team is playing in the D3 classification and will take on Archie Williams High School, which is formerly known as Sir Francis Drake High School. The Panthers are the 15th seed in the new division and are the reigning D4 NCS champs from 2020. The soccer team has a 1.45 p.m. early dismissal. Good luck to both the teams and now back to announcements. And we do not have any birthdays today. Um, but so students, after trivia, please follow the link in your email to complete the course evaluation for your third period class. And now it's time for generational trivia. We have four questions, so let's get going. All right, question number one is the U.S. Supreme Court declared this unconstitutional in 1954. And question two is, it's the 1983 sequel to Saturday Night Fever. I just realized none of these are questions. <laughs> <laughs> just statements. And number three is, the Game Boy shipped with this popular puzzle game. And number four is, these undead creatures were lurking all over popular culture in the late 2000s. So don't forget to email Miss Molinelli at cmolinelli at stomachs.org. And that's it for today. Don't forget to do your third period evaluations. Have a great day, St. Mary's. <laughs>